Another thing is masturbation. <laughs> I can see you all going, oh no, please, change, change. <laughs> oh, Billy, come on, I'm with a girlfriend here. Give us a break. <laughs> if I laugh, she'll know I've done it. So, It's a weird thing, because I read it in a magazine, it said 68% of all British men masturbate on a regular basis. And I thought, well, okay, I'm quite prepared to believe that. How do they know? <laughs> did it show up in the Richter scale or something? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, how can they know? Because anybody I ask never does it. Do you fucking watch? I'd rather cut my fucking hand off. <laughs> but I thought I'd change it tonight and give you a little a guide to more fulfilling masturbation because I I have found a new method. I read it in a book, I've never tried it. You calling me a wanker? <laughs> Here's what you do. Because you're driven to it, really. I mean, you could be watching Crossroads or something. Or Neighbours. And you think, that's it, I've lost a will to live. <laughs> I'm going to go and jump off something high. On the other hand, I might have a wee wank before I go. <laughs> so, what you should do, first of all, is find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, because it's hardly a spectator sport. <laughs> and it's quite exceptionally difficult to find a good excuse for what you're doing if you're caught <laughs> in mid-masturbation. You know, I mean, just, just think about it. What do you say? Hey, I was there. Uh, I was just counting my willies. <laughs> so before we go any further, I'm going to do you a real favor. I'm going to give you an excuse to use if caught. Because there are people, quite stunningly nosy people, who will follow you and listen. Even when you pile furniture against the door. I can't seem to get in. There seems to be furniture against the door. You say, well, it's my new hobby, furniture piling. Now, fuck off. <laughs> but if they just happen to burst in and you're in mid-master, the opening line is all important. Your first line is ultimately the best line you're going to have. And I'm going to give you one. As soon as the offending person bursts in the door and says, Oh my God! They tend to go a bit Rita Hayworth, people, when they catch you having a wank, you see. Oh my God! Your line is, Thank God you're here! <laughs> right? <laughs> now that really upsets them. I had them rocking back. Thank God I'm here. I thought he was having a wank. Your next line is, you'll never believe this. Well, calm down a wee bit and go, probably not. Try me. I was just walking across the room there. Just having a wee stroll. A bees you stroll out. I was just passing the sideboard, as a matter of fact, when the biggest bloody spider you ever saw in your life, big fucking hairy legs like my index finger, came crashing out from behind the sideboard and shot up the leg of my bloody trousers. Christ, I nearly passed away. I thought, what's that bugger after? And I just remembered reading that book just the other day. You probably saw me. Oh, well, I saw you reading a book right after. Aye. That 
that book, Tarantulas and Their Wily Ways. <laughs> and it says there's nothing a tarantula loves more than to sink its fangs into people's willies. I thought, that's what that bugger's after. I whipped the tweeds down in the blinking of an eye, and not a minute too soon, the bugger was sitting there. The fangs, it was just going, looking just about to jab right into the old willy. I went, get you the bugger away from there! Get out, just as you walked in the door. So, 